Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We will raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll see. Bless his name for tonight, the doer of wonderful things. God in the midst of his people is mighty. Someone blessing him. Blessings and honor, glory and power be ascribed to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now ask him for an encounter tonight. Father, let tonight be my night. You have come, visit me. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Let tonight's meeting culminate to my laughter, my joy, my restoration, my healing. The Bible says, he that told you have asked for nothing. It says, ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Someone is praying. I come with my heart full of faith, full of expectation. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Every time God calls for a convergence is because it is a feast of fat things. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I have a commitment tonight and I hope that you pray for me while we are here. My intention is that we finish on time, especially because of um, the security situation around the nation. We thank God for peace. We thank God for what we're enjoying. I do not intend for us to stay longer than necessary. I will need your intercession on that in the name of Jesus Christ. You're welcome to a miracle service for the month of February. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for all who are following us across the globe, may God bless you. You have connected by way of internet, television. The Lord will do you good in Jesus' name. Please be seated, be gloriously seated. Hallelujah. Thank you very much um, for the sacrifices that you make week in and week out to be blessed. And all who have contributed in ways great and small towards the advancement of this vision, let me take the time tonight to say a big thank you your financial supports, your partnership, your prayers, your love, your well wishes. And then, of course, um, your efforts in terms of your physical energy and strength. The Lord will reward you in Jesus' name. We have a few assignments tonight um, as revealed by God. The first of it, even before we get into our personal matters, I want us to take some time 
to intercede even for this nation hallelujah we are an apostolic and a prophetic ministry and it will be irresponsible to isolate ourselves from the happenings around the nation hallelujah every system is built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and all across this nation and across the nations of the earth there are many people who are contributing spiritually in various ways towards the peace the serenity of this nation so when it's time to pray i will request that you be upstanding and then we'll take some time to make our own contribution as a ministry towards the peace and the progress of this nation if you're in agreement shout a loud amen. amen you see the progress of every nation especially our nation nigeria is everyone's business hallelujah and lest you make the mistake of esther when you read the book of esther you find out that haman had a plot remember that scripture is an adumbration of the program of god the program of darkness revealed through several stories several dispensations i can assure you that haman's plan was to kill the king one day the body language of his behavior when the king asked what should we do to this man he said the king's horse the king's robe the king's everything so it was only the king's life that was left that means he had been the king was at a risk hosting an enemy even within the palace are we together and it was for such a time as that god brought esther very interesting and esther was almost forgetting her assignment it was mordecai who warned her you have been sent for such a time as this now you are enjoying the palace and forgetting that there is a plot to annihilate the jews and esther made up her mind she said no i understand kingdom i understand my assignment I'm going to go before the king. If he decides to punish me in death, if I perish, I perish. But let it be that I gave my best. Hallelujah. And so we're enjoying peace right now. We can drive around. We can do a lot of things. But I assure you, the Bible already tells us that the thief cometh not. That means every time you see the thief around, expect killing, expect stealing, expect destruction his hand will only be stayed when the saints in light arise to pray are we together so there's no assumption i have said it it does not matter how the elections turn if it is at the cost of someone's husband someone's wife someone's life someone's children it's, it's not worth it at all hallelujah so we must pray making assumptions and saying i'm fine i have security operatives around me is ignorance are we together because you need to understand that every manifestation of darkness listen carefully every manifestation of darkness physical manifestation is in partnership with spirits there is a level of wickedness that the human being unassisted cannot go beyond there are certain levels of wickedness that are foreign to men. It takes an assistance the same way you see a man unusually anointed. And you know that ordinary men should not be anointed to that degree. It already tells you that that man is in partnership with a spirit. There is a level of evil and wickedness that the moment you see, it tells you that man, whether he's aware or not, whether she's aware or not, they are not operating by themselves. There is a, a wicked spirit that is behind. Hallelujah. And so we're going to pray before I charge you and then we'll minister. And I really sense that the high point of tonight's meeting is I want to take time and really make some prophetic declarations over our lives. I'm praying that God will grant us grace to appreciate the value of prophetic declarations. Hallelujah. If I pray for you or prophesy upon you and you fall and you rise, because of the physical impact, you'll be glad and be happy that, wow, this was my service. But you see, men are made in this kingdom by the kinds of prophetic words that come upon them. I hope you know that when prophecy is declared, it is not only your ears that is hearing. Your ears only hear the words, 
but the spirit enters into you and begins to reprogram spiritual possibilities in your life may tonight's miracle service be yours tonight in the name of Jesus Christ you will not come and spectate and clap for another person it will be a personal miracle service for you I think it was um, while I was preparing to go and support my friend and brother in Lagos Pastor Nath, um, that I took time to pray over Nigeria and I got a prophetic word Psalm 76 and verse 10 this was a word that God gave me Psalm 76 and verse 10 surely the wrath of man shall praise thee and the remainder of that wrath shall thou restrain i saw this and said what kind of a scripture is this i mean it wasn't my first time looking at the scripture but why should this kind of scripture come over nigeria that the wrath of man shall praise thee and then the remainder of the wrath you will restrain whatever that meant i made up my mind that i was going to pray wrath is not a gift it's not a good thing it should not be desired whatsoever are we together now and so we're going to take some time to pray for nigeria is it all right if we pray so please be upstanding i'll give you a few scriptures and then we'll pray everybody say nigeria is my business let the devil hear you say nigeria is my business and for those who are connecting across the globe you are being blessed today because of the existence of this nation so ensure that you don't say i am from kenya zimbabwe uganda south africa uk doesn't matter we are praying for this great nation and i want you to participate remember intercession is a seed when you sow that seed of intercession you will receive that harvest you may not receive it where you have sown it but you will receive what you sow are we together praise the name of the Lord Psalms 122 I will read from verse 6 to 8 and then we'll pray Psalms 122 it says pray for the peace of Nigeria they shall prosper that love thee we're reading to 8 7 it said peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces verse 8 for my brethren and for my companion's sake i will now say peace be within you hallelujah the highest definition of success for me is peace no matter what happens in life in order of priority listen carefully peace is greater than progress are we together progress cannot happen except and unless in fact you cannot really enjoy progress unless there is peace the Bible would say once and again that God gave the man rest round about. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So in as much as we desire progress as individuals and as a nation, we must pray for the peace of Nigeria. Please shout it very loud and clear. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. We decree and declare, decree and declare. Over, the over the north, over the south, over the south over the east and over the west let there be peace lift your voice and pray declare peace we're praying for nigeria let there be peace peace in the north peace in the south peace in the east peace in the west someone is interceding Nigeria experience peace Nigeria experience peace as the collations have begun we declare peace the spirit of bloodshed evil doers wicked people there is no place for you in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and declare we declare peace peace over our borders peace we're praying for peace 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Second Thessalonians 3 and verse 16. Please give it to us. Second Thessalonians 3 and verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. And he said, by all means. We are going to pray. Father, by all means, there must be peace. There must be peace. There must be peace. Open your mouth and pray. There must be peace. Someone is declaring. By all means, in the name of Jesus, there must be peace. Peace in our land. Peace in Abuja. Peace in Lagos. Peace in Port Harcourt. Peace in Wari. Peace in Kano. Peace in Maiduguri. Peace in Zamfara. Peace in Nasarawa State. Peace in Plateau State. Benue State. Akwaibom. Is someone praying? Mention the name of your state. Mention your region. And declare peace by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shabra katakatapakatokate. Those outside pray. All the overflows pray. Following online. Make sure you pray. We declare peace. We declare peace. The spirit of violence. We banish you from our land. The spirit of bloodshed. We banish you from our land. Someone is praying. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shakate parakatos katapendekatesh. Shabra katapereketo kato pakatos katapradesh. Rakata branda kabereketa pakatos koto brandekate. Peace. We declare peace. We declare peace. We declare peace. We declare peace. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. Please give it to us. We are still praying. First Timothy. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayer, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men. Verse 2. It says for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Verse 3. It says for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God and of our Savior. The election has happened. You have done your own. But we are going to pray and say Lord now that we have done our own let angels get to work. Let the spirit of God get to work. We decree and declare. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray over INEC. Pray over the law enforcement agents. Is someone praying? We have done our own. We have done our own due diligence. Under intense sacrifice. Lord we declare. Let angels go to work. We declare the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We pray for all the agencies. INEC. We pray for the law enforcement agents. We pray for the judicial system. In the name of Jesus. They come under the influence of the spirit of grace. Of the spirit of justice. Someone is praying. Open your mouth and pray. Concerning the presidency, concerning the senate, concerning the house of assembly, Lord, we decree and declare by the spirit of the living God, let the realm of the spirit swing into action, birthing the will of God, birthing the purposes of God for our nation, for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a loud amen. amen. Psalm 33 from verse 10 to 12. How many of you believe in the power of prayer? Please do not think you are wasting your time. The Bible says the prayers of the saints are collected in vials and stored in heaven. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Verse 11. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever and the thoughts of his heart through all generations. Verse 12. He said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen. Father, expose every conspiracy. Father, 
expose every dark walk in the name of Jesus let it come to light open your mouth and pray every manipulation every wickedness every conspiracy every plot of darkness to hijack justice from the electoral process arise oh god and let your enemies be scattered someone is praying open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray we declare by the spirit of the living god every plot every conspiracy to truncate to strangle the truth in the name of jesus it shall not stand the voice of the citizens will be heard loud and clear. The voice of the citizens will be heard loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate every political gimmick. We frustrate every manipulation of darkness, every fraternity with men and spirit to truncate the decision of the saints and the citizens of this nation. We cause it by the God of heaven someone pray someone pray someone pray shabra kata bala kata pakotos kata bala tosh karikas kata branda kata rekotos shada bata ebre kata bala kata proskoto bala kata branda kata in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now hear me we are going to pray if there are any groups of young people any groups of hired mercenaries already waiting for a trigger to kill to steal and to destroy we release the forces of judgment and we declare that it shall not stand open your mouth and begin to pray father we declare frustrate the counsel of killers frustrate the counsel of stealers frustrate the counsel of liars in the name of jesus christ any group of persons across the nation just waiting for a sign to cause mayhem and to destroy lives in the name of Jesus we declare that you will stay their hand restrain their hand hallelujah hallelujah I hope you are not tired Nigeria is everybody's business now hear me every time the citizens cast their votes they've done their due diligence but you see there are three important um, parastatals that determine the outcome of any election number one INEC we are going to call them by name and pray listen 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 first listen I confess that imagine if I were the the uh, what they call him now the INEC chairman the pressure coming from east and west it takes a lot to resist temptations when you know that you have somebody is willing to give you 10 20 hundred billion it takes God not courage to say no are we together now number two law enforcement agents police uh, what they call them now DSS what every all the paramilitary groups who are going to pray they can allow or disallow violence is that true number three which in my opinion is most important is the judicial system in this nation the Supreme Court is the highest as far as declaring what happens when people have any matter they move down and then they get to the Supreme Court and whatever decision is made that is final we are going to bring these three groups before the Lord and bring them under the influence of the anointing that none of these groups will fail God open your mouth and pray just do what I'm asking you to do go ahead and pray pray for INEC grace in the name of Jesus INEC represented across the six show political zones grace to stand for justice grace to resist temptation financial temptations temptations of all kinds of mundane offers in the name of Jesus we decree and we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost the courage the grace to say no to every appearance of evil and to stand for justice to stand for equity 
pray for everyone who works with the electoral commission pray for their families some of them may be under threat pray for their wives their husbands pray for their children is someone praying we pray for INEC in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Now pray for the law enforcement agents. We pray for the military. We pray for the Air Force. We pray for the police. We pray for DSS. We pray for civil defense in the name of Jesus. They will not be corrupted by the wicked hearts of selfish men. Open your mouth and pray. They will not be corrupted. The grace to say no. The grace to say no. The grace to defend the cause of justice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to pray for the judicial system. I had the privilege, I was in Nairobi when they had their election. And um, because of my privilege of relationship with some of the leaders across both parties, the major parties, and I had private discussions with them. I remember encouraging them because the then situation had gone to the Supreme Court. And I had the honor of praying for a few of the justices and you know just encouraging them to stand for truth and it was going to be i think 12 days after that crusade for the the supreme court to declare whoever now the the man who heads and leads the nation and i remember praying and having an opportunity to discuss with the parties and i told them i said look whatever it is do not make this a do or die affair the life of the citizens are more important than personal ambition. And we thank God for what happened. And what happened in Kenya was it has become a template for several people. We are going to pray one more time. I know why I am telling you to pray for the judicial system. Just you should know by now that I don't speak in ignorance. I want you to open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, all the cadres it's not the supreme court that would deal there are i think there are tribunals am i right on that electoral tribunals we are going to pray there is no need hiding the fact that every single judge will be under pressure i don't care whether you are born again or not election is a time where all kinds of things happen but we're going to say, Lord, for the sake of your elect, for the sake of the sacrifices of the people in this nation, right from local government to the presidency, that if any situation gets to any of the tribunals or the Supreme Court, let justice prevail. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Courage. Courage. The spirit of patriotism over our judicial system in the name of jesus we pray and we cry someone pray For in Jesus name we pray now the last prayer point and then we'll wrap up as far as interceding for Nigeria is concerned you are going to pray for your family members Lord I will not hear an evil report I will not be here when I hear that a spray bullet killed my mother my father my brother my sister because Satan is an opportunist he will cash in on this moment are we together now Sadly and unfortunately, of course, there are a few people who have been injured. There are a few people who have sadly lost lives, properties. Now that you have an opportunity to pray, I want you to invest over your loved ones. Make mention of them by name before God and say, build a wall of fire around them. Someone open your mouth and pray. 
especially if any of your loved ones work in any of these, these groups and institutions that we have mentioned. Some of your loved ones are returning officers. Some of your loved ones are military personnel. Some of your loved ones work in media houses. Declare protection over them. Declare preservation. The covenant of the God of David binds them. In the name of Jesus. Pray for those who are in volatile regions. In the name of Jesus, they are protected by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be we cry our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry our Father. We have prayed before, now after the election, in a few, I presume, a few hours, at best a few days, results are already coming from everywhere, and we have prayed. I want you to watch God in action. You see, let me tell you the truth. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. In every nation, there are times and moments where God decides to arise. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can imagine that many of you have read, watched all kinds of prophecies online. And I respect the prophetic, we're a prophetic ministry. But hear me, I can tell you, it is written. Is greater than I saw. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Listen, I want to, hold on please, hold on, listen, listen, listen. There are two things I want you to learn. Now, with all due respect, I, I love the body of Christ, but I want to use this to teach you something. Of all the candidates, major candidates that have contested, especially pre presidency, you would find prophetic words for or against them online, every one of them every major party every prophetic word i have gotten a deluge of um, links sent to me apostle what do you think about this apostle what do you think about that and now i respect the prophetic profoundly i know that there are many of the people who prophesy are people who have their various track records but the bible already told us without missing words that we see in parts and we prophesy in parts hallelujah now listen carefully I want to wrap up by giving you two revelations that will bless you. I'm not going to make comments on this, but let me tell you this. Number one, there is what we call the purposes of God. And there is what we call the plan of God. You must understand these two things. If God's purpose is for you to get to Lagos, his plan can be that you take a flight. But if something happens with that plan, his purposes still remain the same even though the plans can change listen carefully are you hearing what i'm telling you now 
if you do not understand the mystery of God's purposes and God's plan, your Christian experience will make you look like you are not a powerful Christian. Are we together? When God told Moses, go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. He told him, he said, remember, the heart of Pharaoh will be hardened. Don't think you are just going to meet him. And then he will say, all right, be on your way going. It will not be as easy as that. But find courage that I have pre-informed you. So when he stood before Pharaoh and Pharaoh began to act funny, he calmed down, he went back and got another strategy. After 10 plagues, the most important thing is that there was an exodus for the nation of Israel. Are we together now? I'm saying this because many, many believers most times are not discerning. Our ways, you see, God's ways are not our ways. He can grant you access to his purposes, but you must be discerning enough. Minimize unnecessary uh, commenting on things you do not understand. If you have handed over this nation to God, find rest. Are we together now? Praise the name of the Lord. When God decides to arise over a nation, you, most of you have not seen God as a warrior. You have seen him as a savior. Just allowed himself to be killed anyhow. Most of you have seen him as a shepherd. But it is fearful. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Hear me again I declare one more time that our Supreme Court comes under the influence of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ but what God is going to do in this nation is going to surprise many people let it be so in Jesus name please be seated Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Matthew chapter 10, we'll read 1, 7, and 8. Matthew 10, 1, 7, and 8. And when he had called unto him the 12 disciples, the Bible says he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. And then verse 7 as ye go, he instructed them, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then prove the reality of that kingdom by healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, and casting out devils. And he said, freely ye have received, freely give. The miraculous is a demonstration of the presence and the supremacy of the kingdom that we are part of. It's important for you to understand this. Miracle signs and wonders were built into the communication of the gospel. They are validators of the presence and the power of Jesus over the affairs of men. You need to understand this. Without the supernatural and the miraculous, our gospel is impotent. What gives credence and potency to the power of God in the world of men is a corresponding manifestation of the supernatural jesus said as you go the emphasis is your preaching not the miracles but that the miracles follow to prove 
that the reality of the kingdom that you are now advocating that is not a scam is not some fraud he said heal the sick as an attestation to the fact that the kingdom has come cleanse the lepers raise the dead are we together this is very very important acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth notice that this scripture came about while peter was preaching in the house of cornelius even to the gentiles he made reference to this while preaching the gospel how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the bible says who went about doing good and healing all all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him i repeat again that the gospel is important except it is backed up by the power of the holy spirit resulting in miracles signs and wonders so when god calls for a miracle service it is an opportunity to bring clarity and credence even to the gospel if we say jesus is lord that he's exalted above all kings we sing it we pray it we chant it there must be a demonstration of the superiority of this jesus and this kingdom hallelujah yes he is exalted the king is exalted on earth. i will praise him he is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in So when miracles, signs and wonders happen like they are about to happen in your life right now, I have taught you that they, are, they bring credence to the gospel. When you say Jesus is Lord, it must be proven in our lives, my life and your life. When a medical report is changed in a moment overnight that the doctors have concluded that they don't even know what is wrong with you and by one prophetic declaration there's healing are we together now oppression all kinds of wicked spirits manipulating destinies even without knowing you just know that it looks like there is a plethora of evil occurrences in your life you've attempted to do everything you know to do that's where the power of god comes in he gave them power against unclean spirits there are spirits that are called unclean spirits. They do not birth the purposes of God. And I will tell you that many people are under various levels of these demonic influences without knowing. You test the presence of these spirits by the occurrences around your life. Bad luck, closed doors, all kinds of evil things. Whenever there will be trouble, that's when you appear there. When there is peace and lifting, you will never find your way there. I was teaching this morning um, for Apostle um, Goodhart and Rogic, and one of the things that I was sharing with them is the fact that um, it's important for believers, listen, to understand that what is on your head truly is what governs everything around you when the devil wants to destroy you i was making reference to the life of job notice it was first a spiritual transaction over the life of job before a physical expression are we together that that was long concluded in the heavenlies then the bible says a certain day a certain day physically now job did not know i'm sure a day before the day of his disaster he did not know that that kind of tragedy was already concluded he woke up in the morning and stretched himself like any other day only to find out that that day had been earmarked as the day for his destruction find out the silly reasons why his children died one person will always return back 
just to let you know that your sons were taking care of the sheep and a whirlwind came and killed all of them a beast came anything fights you when the realm of the spirit is fighting you anything anything at all when the spirit of death is following someone you can fall down from a chair and die are we together like you sleep from a chair that you should stand up and dust yourself and they will tell you your leg broke is a fracture that and from there they will find out now from a fracture to cancer somewhere and you know that it is not those physical things hallelujah there are people who died of headache mysterious headache that panadol and the rest could not solve spirits so in dealing listen in in commanding liberty over the lives of people the first part of call is the realm of the spirit not just managing the physical expressions are we together someone may be having maybe for instance some kind of sickness in your body and there's a place to minister the power of god but you see the realm of the spirit is what works in partnership with your body to cause that and until we deal with those spirits and those demonic influences any physical help will not really solve the problem miracle signs and wonders validate the gospel they validate the love and the power of jesus and may you see god in action in your life tonight in the name of jesus christ the realm of the spirit is powerful I have grown through the years to respect the kind and the level of dominion that the realm of the spirit exerts upon the physical realm this is the reason why i do not pay very much attention to the physical realm uh, i do my due diligence but the truth is that life victory defeat everything is coordinated from the realm of the spirit so if your entire life is sensual you are already defeated because you are focusing on the wrong place. Hallelujah. If your car spoils, you most likely will not be checking the paint of the car. Is that true? No. There are times that your a fuse can go bad within the car, but you find out that your headlamps are not working. The bulbs may be fine, but something happened within and is expressing itself outside. Is that true? You may change the bulbs and find out that nothing is happening. And then you take the car to a car mechanic or an electrician. And then the first he will go to check the fuse and say, oh, something is burned from inside. And sometimes you would just need to change something small. And that's it. The light comes at its full strength. That's how it is physically because some of us are focusing on the exterior why is this happening in my life or why is this not happening and you're not focused on what is influencing those outcomes how come i have helpers all around my life and no one seems to pay attention to my life and my destiny you can harass the helpers by sending them text messages and say i'm still here you are you are you are focused on the wrong place the realm of the spirit is what controls favor or disfavor. The realm of the spirit is what controls liberty or oppression. The realm of the spirit is what controls abundance or poverty. The realm of the spirit is what controls longevity or untimely death. The realm of the spirit is what controls influence or a life of mediocrity. The realm of the spirit, that's where it starts from. so you will find out that you came to church remember the issue is disfavor say for instance and you can receive a prophetic declaration sometimes you can fall and stand and there's no naira or cobble that you know manifested in your pocket or whatever and you will feel okay so what is my take in this now it is when you step out because the realm of the spirit has been corrected you will be surprised what begins to happen to you some of you even whilst the service is going on someone calls you and you see 10 missed calls of someone you've been trying to reach where are you i just feel like doing this i promise you a job can you come and meet me tomorrow by 8 a.m and you are wondering what suddenly happened the realm of the spirit i feel sad for people who ignore the realm of the spirit and try to handle things physically no you will live a defeated christian life the Bible says, let it be done in earth as it is in the heavens. Let it be done in the earth as it is in the heavens. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So miracle signs and wonders validate the gospel. They validate the presence and the power of Jesus, his ability to save, his ability to heal, his ability to deliver, to restore. All of these strengthen the communication of the gospel. But you must realize, as we have it as an anthem in this ministry, that the goal is not to focus on the healing. Please look up. The goal is not to focus on the deliverance. The goal is not to focus on the prosperity or the breakthrough. You would have missed the entire process when your focus remains on the blessing. Your focus should be on the person, not the blessing. Are we together? So by the time the entire circumference of your focus is on healing or power or falling down or standing up or the prophetic, which is a big mistake that we make in the body of Christ. All of these advocacies, these spiritual dimensions are supposed to point you to see the power and the grace to draw you to Jesus. That means that the end of your journey, that end point should be Jesus not the miraculous it can start with a healing for someone please lend me your attention it can start with your deliverance it can start with breakthrough it may even be a prophetic word for someone but know that you have not come to the end of your journey until you encounter jesus jesus at the center of it all jesus at the center of it all from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus oh jesus from my heart to the heavens it's all about you yes it's all I repeat for emphasis that the miraculous should not stop at projecting the man of God as a powerful man of God that may be wonderful and profitable the miraculous should not stop at projecting the ministry as a great ministry that would not have done the kingdom much profit the miraculous should not stop at celebrating miracles Wow I just got healed Wow I just got delivered Wow a door just opened mm -mm every testimony listen carefully every manifestation of the supernatural even tonight should be centered around jesus are we together now every praise is to our god every song of worship from my heart every praise every praise is to our So at the end of the healing, at the end of the miracles, the signs and the wonders, listen carefully, you should stand in awe of Jesus beyond Joshua Selman, beyond Koinonia, beyond a powerful man of God and a powerful ministry. If the, your entire gaze stops at me, then something was done wrong. You should pass beyond me. And get to Jesus if your entire gaze stops at koinonia as wonderful as that is not much was done for the kingdom you must move past men you must move past systems and meet a person Jesus this is the authentic protocol for the administration of the miraculous it starts with Jesus as Alpha it ends with him as Omega never with a man of God never with a ministry this is an uncomfortable truth but it is true hallelujah i need to tell us this because sometimes you know in a bit to honor men of god and thank god for our efforts and our labor in the spirit but sometimes subconsciously we tend to draw people and idolize ourselves and make it look like everything is about this great man no 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 John said, I am the voice of one crying. Jesus 
is the epicenter that means at the end of this miracle service ladies and gentlemen you shouldn't just leave saying wow this man is a powerful man of god or this ministry is a great ministry we're all ushers at the end of it you should say i encountered him jesus for some of you you will encounter jesus the way ends foolishness from your life for some of you you will encounter jesus the deliverer for some of you you will encounter jesus the life terminating the reign of darkness for some of you you will encounter jesus the savior the redeemer some of you will encounter jesus the warrior fighting battles some of you will encounter different dimensions of him but by all means we are here tonight even before the world unashamedly so to project and reveal jesus in koinonia we say jesus revealed and jesus glorified hallelujah jesus revealed more than joshua selman revealed joshua selman is only revealed so that jesus can be revealed hallelujah in theology we call it the reflection principle john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes unto heaven and he said father the hour is come he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 when ye bear much fruit he says so shall ye be my disciples john 15 16 you have not chosen me he says but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear much fruit I need to say this the reason why many people do not experience the power of God in their lives some of you you may be a man of God here maybe across the congregation all the overflows are following online and you are wondering why don't I experience the miraculous in my life one of the reasons may be respectfully speaking that you have chosen to stand in the way of God's glory so that all the attention is on you in hope that when people look at you they may give you money or call you names it's unnecessary if Jesus is glorified through your life everything that comes with lifting him will follow you he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men John said that I may decrease John 3 30 or 31 and that he may increase that I may decrease that I may decrease he must increase but I decrease not vanish but decrease to a point where he's the one who is seen. Listen, I'm taking time to teach you this so that you will understand as a principle, when your life is all about revealing and glorifying Jesus, there is no end to the manifestation of his power, his wisdom, and his grace upon your life. It is a costly mistake that we make as men of God, openly or subliminally, we try to draw people and make ourselves the epicenter of everything. No. Jesus minus Joshua Selman is still king of kings and lord of lords. Jesus minus Koinonia is still king of kings and lord of lords. But Joshua Selman minus Jesus. I don't even know what the answer is. So you have come here tonight, some for impartation, some trusting God to meet you at one point or the other. I charge you before I begin to minister and then speak over your life. I promise to walk with time. I'm still mindful of that. But listen very, very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. If this is all you receive tonight and I speak over your life and we leave, I will still live fulfilled. It's important that I remind you to return Jesus back to become the epicenter of your pursuit that in everything and for everything you do probe your motive if jesus is out of it don't take any step hallelujah jesus every time i pray preparing for any service especially the miracle service I talk to the Lord and say, Lord, you know that this is all about you. It's not a man doing ministry like a vocation. You have to do it. I don't have to do it. If you are not with me, I will gladly send a text to say, cancel the, the service today. 
because I did not get an assurance that he's with me. That if your presence does not go with us, he says, do not let us depart from here. Except you are a herbalist or you are some necromancer or a demonic person. But if you want to do authentic ministry to serve God's people in truth, you must ensure that his presence is with you. The reason why you are going to be healed, delivered, changed, the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon your life, listen carefully, is going to work, is not just because of the vessel. Now, there is a place for the vessel, but I insist and I repeat one last time. Jesus minus Joshua Selman is still king of kings and lord of lords. Jesus minus Koinonia is still king of kings and lord of lords. For if we do not praise him, he can raise up stones. But you see, you minus Jesus, there is nothing there. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. Truly, I'm just a vessel and nothing more when you're done tonight will you please take the glory i'm satisfied just to see you glorified so be lifted high i lift you high For you are holy, righteous, and worthy. Oh Lord, believe. You can't glorify God this way. Hear me, please. You can't genuinely be open to glorify God this way and then not see His power manifest in your life. I don't know why I'm emphasizing the Spirit of God is speaking to a man of God. Maybe you are following online. You have been looking for this power thing. You can fast forever. It will not come when your motive is not pure. You can go and receive impartation until they bath you in, in a whole gallon of oil. It will not anoint you. You can as well stand near an olive tree and one power. Are we together now? Because the oil is not what anoints. The heart condition is more than your physical activity. Now the power of God is beginning to move. Mm. Mm. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim. The light of his glory and grace I remember reading the story of William Branham that he would stand on the stage and just tell them the angel that was sent to walk with him is not yet there and for hours they would just stand and later on he would say that is it he's arrived and now he will begin to prophesy one of the things I'm praying that God will help you to build is sensitivity you can't pretend sensitivity you can fake prophecy but you cannot pretend sensitivity. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'll take a few minutes to minister to the needs of people. And then when I do, we'll have the prayer requests. And then I'll just speak over your life. And then we're done for tonight. Hallelujah. Do you believe in the power of God? <laughs> Without the power of God, we're only actors on stage. What else do we have to give people? The power of God is a gift, a product. The, pro the, the apostle said, such as I have. You know, I've been working in this for many, many, many years. You would think because I've been working on this, or, you know, in this reality every day of my life, I should be used to it. I, am, I marvel myself when I see what the power of God is able to do. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to pray right now and I want you to bring all the people who the anointing of the Spirit comes upon. The Lord is revealing to me that there are people right now and this is a prophetic word for those people. Please hear me. 
I'm hearing the mantle of a restorer. These people, it's not just restoration that is happening to you. There is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family. I release that grace now. In the name of Jesus, bring them. The mantle of a restorer. No matter where you are, under the influence of this anointing. Please bring them very quickly, let's save time. The mantle of a restorer. You came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here. Because there is, there is an assignment that is connected to you. And that fire, that grace, go and restore. Go and restore. He said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. Please help the ushers. Their hands may be full. If there's any, anyone under the anointing close to you, you don't have to wait for the ushers. Just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly. The mantle of the restorer is falling on someone. You may be a man of God. You may be a prophet. I don't know why God is starting with an impartation. But again, I release that grace. I release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise. I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you. The mantle of a restorer. The mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight, there are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd. In many, some of you in your family, out of 10 people, I'm hearing that word chosen. Bring them out. Chosen. It's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments. Strategic prophetic assignments. Bring them out, please. Chosen. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. Chosen. Chosen. Predestined. Chosen. Oh, you have been chosen. You may not look like it, but there is a, a grace upon you. Bring them out. I'm saying it again. You may not look like it, but you have been chosen. That mantle is looking for you. That mantle is looking for you. Male and female. Apostle, I may not be educated. You are still chosen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen. Bring them out. Chosen by the Spirit of God. Chosen by the Spirit of Grace. Chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I've asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit, that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen, you are chosen, chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you.
the Bible says you are a chosen generation it calls you a royal priesthood it says you are a holy nation a peculiar people mandated to show forth the praises is the word doxazo of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light into his marvelous light i'm seeing the number four and i'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic the eyes of the seer four just four people i'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now the eyes help them please my god the eyes of the seer i activate that prophetic may that mantle rest upon you the eyes of the seer authentic manifestation of the prophetic i set you on fire i ignite your sight in the spirit the number four the prophetic probably someone came here to receive that grace you came here crying for that manifestation you need it for your life and ministry i declare over you may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name Favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is Favor. I'm declaring who is Favor. In the name of Jesus, every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a prophetic word. And God is speaking to someone. I would not say things like that except God to told me. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I don't know who that person is, but this is what God is saying. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic how you will get there you may not know but i call upon the god of jeshuron since he has spoken i place grace upon your life and i move you by prophecy locate destiny locate destiny locate destiny right now listen listen i use this prophetic word as a point of contact anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. 
there may be a man of God the reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned I relocate you to your place assigned there is a location for every mantle and Isaac sowed in that land not any land that land there are lands when you sow into you go down he said Abraham come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you and in the obedience of your advancement I will make you a great nation I will make your name great there are many people the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning and hear me there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad they are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. Can we release the grace for speed? why do we pray for speed most of you listen you must understand now here I want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do I promise that I was going to work with time do you know why I release the grace for speed because I have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned number one is restoration number two is speed these are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny for some of you many things have left you behind but i want to release that grace and when i please i want you to help them because people will start running and so i wanted to help them i stretch my hands by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic i decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded i introduce to your life right now the grace for speed release receive it right now speed 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 receive that grace speed speed i command it i declare it i decree it over your life man of god speed businessman speed elijah receive speed in the name of jesus christ now i want to rebuke spirits for as long as i live no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation, connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus lift your destinies now lift your destinies out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly I decree and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit is time for you to leave let God's people go now 
bring them out very quickly wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go i'm praying again every spirit tying down anyone here any man any woman i'm saying it again at the count of three let the fire fall one two three shout jesus let the fire fall 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 in the name of jesus hello madonna I will, I will say it again when it's time to prophesy but I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open and I want to declare it I don't know who that is for but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now and you will be surprised to see doors open Lord as to bash get help that lady doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now i have set before you an open door and no one can shut it I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who have prayed, you have fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a father be open hallelujah who is sylvester i'm hearing a name sylvester who is that your name is sylvester what do you do my friend i want to pray for you how long have you been in a medical practice this will be my 10th year your 10th year are you planning to go abroad i have been up in trial. your season has come your destiny listen to me i will not call you out and tell you nonsense my friend i fear god eh? But I'm telling you that there is a very supernatural manifestation of God's grace. Listen, in your practice, there is a height that God is going to take you to that will surprise you. <laughs> Sylvester. There is someone, the power of God is coming on you. You are a lawyer. I'm seeing, because I'm seeing in a vision and I'm seeing that person wearing the, the uh, week for lawyers and I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you and the Lord is saying his opening is a new season I don't know where that person is but right now you are a lawyer the power of God is resting upon you it's a new season do not look down on yourself that profession is your ministry and the hand of God is there Sylvester, I want to pray for you, all of you who are out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Seven years, exactly. Please listen to the word before you come out. We have to hurry up. Seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Seven. I know there are many people, but this is seven. A woman, seven years. Is there someone like that? Let me pray for you right now, because I'm saying there is grace to declare over you.
Sylvester, I stretch my hands, all of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the helper of men. I decree and declare by the Spirit of the living God, the prophetic word that God has declared upon you, in the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you. Seven years. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you see, God's word is not a suggestion. When God's word comes, it truly comes to bring liberty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Please make sure it's that specific word. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I declare like Elisha said to the Shunammite woman, according to the time of life. It doesn't matter how it has been before now. Now that your word has come, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that is responsible for barrenness, the spirit that is responsible for loss of children, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you standing for yourself, my dear? No, 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 no. This lady, you are standing for yourself. Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's not here. Where is he? He's at home. Where is home? Look beside. Let the mercy of God speak over your marriage. Amen. Say amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every legal access the devil has over your home, I declare it broken now. Amen. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus! It's over completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands over these precious women and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever has been responsible for this barrenness, loss of children, we don't care what it is. We correct it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I release grace upon you that according to the time of life, return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Place your hand. Let me pray for the sick now. I just said place your hand and I just saw a thermometer go down. Every time I see that, that is high blood pressure. That's BP. There's someone... You have suffered this demonic thing. The power of God is coming on that person right now. I'm seeing that the person is in this row. You are somewhere al along this row. I don't know who that person is. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me that the person is somewhere along that row. The power of God is coming on that person. I assure you, these visions don't lie. The power of God is touching someone. I saw a thermometer go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle, I want to pray for the sick now. If it's your head, go ahead. If it's a blood condition, just lay your hands on your chest. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact. Please believe in the healing ministry. Believe in the healing ministry. There's no reason to sit down and die for nothing. Believe in the healing ministry. Lay your hands. Just keep it there. You sent your word. And it healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. That he led me. someone you are already having signs signs of rheumatoid arthritis i have to pray for you half of you you are already having a very serious i'm not a medical doctor i'm just describing what god is showing me a a tingly feeling you know like like shock something your your body is getting numb i want you to 
connect by faith and those who are it's incredible how many people connect to our miracle services from several hospitals and the testimonies that have come is very humbling and here is a chance again we thank God for doctors they are a symbol of God's mercy but in addition to that which they do we are connecting by faith to release the healing power of Jesus I truly believe that Jesus heals lay your hands what money cannot do what doctors may not even be able to do Jesus the healer is about to touch you right now keep your hands there I want to minister the power of God the power of God is just flowing right now and touching people there are two people who are going to shout very loud the moment that happens the healing power of God will begin to flow honestly I do not know why but this is what God is ministering to me very loud shout two of them the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you Lord The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every devil, every unclean spirit that is responsible for sicknesses and infirmity. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Mm, miracles are happening. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Frequent urination. I don't know the name of the medical condition but frequent urination sometimes if you are not cheerful and you don't hurry up you is almost as if you are going to ease yourself on yourself I declare right now that demonic case let it come to an end now I've seen this a number of times and I've announced it a woman who is not nursing she's not a nursing mother and yet she's lactating I don't know if that is good or bad but I think it's bad in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that demonic occurrence dies permanently from your body I'm still praying omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. I conditions in the name of Jesus, every kind of eye condition here represented. By the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now ear conditions I command healing by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus there's someone you have a problem with your kidneys I don't know if you are aware or not but in the name of Jesus Christ I declare healing right now there's someone I'm seeing that you are watching from South Africa you are suffering from kidney stones this is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me from South Africa kidney stones in the name of Jesus be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost the Lord is showing me a lady who is connecting from Canada this is Ontario in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare this heart palpitation heart palpitation be healed right now be healed right now there is a mother I'm seeing maybe at least 
maybe her, it should not be less than her 60s. She's watching from Bauchi State, from Bauchi State. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, Mama, be healed now. I'm also seeing a woman who is connecting. You are watching by your daughter's phone. This is what I'm seeing. You are using your daughter's phone to watch. You have been having dreams and seeing dead people, people who have died, calling you. In the name of Jesus, we extend your life to be consistent with God's program. We extend your life. And my declaration for that woman is what I'm declaring over you. No untimely death for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. The someone is a blood related case. I don't know if it's HIV or something. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. HIV. God is healing you now. God is healing you now. God is healing you now. As someone suffering from peptic ulcer, peptic ulcer, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare be healed now. Amen. There's something they call mumps, where the side of your, your, um, your mouth, your cheek area begins to swell. Now, there's someone, you don't have that case, but this is what is happening. It's not mumps, but you are having... That discomfort is like it's, you know, it's swelling. I don't know whether you are here or any of the overflows. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. The power of God is touching that person right now. There's what we call dementia, where you begin to forget. I'm seeing someone's father suffering that. The power of God is coming upon you right now. For the sake of your father, he's beginning to forget names and forget people and forget places. He will have to be reminded. I'm seeing pictures in front of him. They have to try to remind him of several things. In the name of Jesus, dementia, you go now. You go now. Amen. Wow. The Lord is showing me a very interesting situation. I'm seeing a surgery room. Now, it may not be, it may be something in a vision. I'm seeing a surgery room currently as I'm speaking, and they're operating someone. And with what I'm seeing in my vision, that person will not wake up again. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying we should change that situation. I don't know who the person is, but I'm seeing them open up someone. And while the work is ongoing, I'm seeing complication that is developed. And once they are done with the surgery, they may say the person bled and could not survive it. But because it has been revealed, we knock upon the door of life and we command preservation. I don't know who is going through surgery right now. Every complication being scheduled by Satan in the name of Jesus, we overturn by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, whether I mention your case or not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. 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 Amen. We're about to submit our prayer request very quickly. We may not have the time to collect testimonies because I promised that we're going to finish on time. But listen very carefully. There is just one person. I know that there are many people, but there's one person here. You have been praying desperately and desiring the healing anointing to really come upon your life. It's been your prayer unto God. I know that there might be several people, what God says to one, he says to all, but God is showing me one. I'm not talking of casual, passive, blind desire. Genuine is being pressing upon your heart. You have cried and you have desired the healing anointing. The Lord is saying it is yours right now. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is coming upon you. 
you will truly carry the healing anointing truly carry the healing anointing you will truly carry the healing anointing Just give me a minute and let God do what he's doing. That's, I've just been asked not to say anything, just to keep quiet and allow God do what he's doing. Mighty God. one minute God is doing an impartation very strong impartation strong impartation of graces strong impartation strong impartation See, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. When you walk with God, one of the things you must master is the ability to be sensitive in the spirit. Sensitivity in the spirit is gold. You must know how to respond to the impulses of the spirit. Being anointed is not enough. The administration of the anointing is sensitivity dependent you would lose out on many prophetic things that God intends to do simply because you do not have the eyes that see and the ears that hear just 10 or 20 more seconds and then we'll be ready to pray God is not done this thing is the healing anointing oh. I'm talking of the healing anointing this is what is coming so that there's no it's not just a random impartation hear what the Lord is saying I should tell someone I will help you I'm hearing help 
the Lord is saying you have labored you have tried by yourself and by your own strength I am coming into your life to help you this is what God is saying this may not be for everybody but he is called the helper God is saying you have tried and tried I don't know in what area you have tried you have exhausted your options in fact you came into koinonia you came for service tonight you know just confused you've exhausted everything but in the name of Jesus the helper is visiting you Ebenezer the helper of man in the name of Jesus the helper is holding your hands the helper is holding your destiny you are about to experience help from the helper in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus now very quickly I want everybody open your mouth and begin to pray if you can while you submit your prayer request please no distraction this is a very prophetic atmosphere now just submit your request to the last person by your left or right very quickly for the sake of time don't worry no one is reading your request just quickly submit so that you make the work easy for ushers ushers let's get this done very quickly while that is happening we are praying in the spirit go ahead and pray go ahead and pray you are receiving through prayer the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it in that place of prayer and thou shall have it submit your prayer request what's the first stanza of this song again there are kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are Hallelujah. Please let me have all the, the prayer requests. Let's make it fast. There is a very serious impartation God wants me to do now. Please, I want you to pay attention. Don't be distracted. How many of you believe that there is actually the power to get wealth? There is the skill that you can exchange and it can bring you financial rewards but truly ladies and gentlemen i want you to hear me there is an anointing called the power to get wealth unfortunately most people who talk about money talk about it from a mundane carnal standpoint with no kingdom attachment whatsoever it's just for self-aggrandizement and to sponsor the flesh this is not and will never be the objective the goal behind anything god gives whatever god gives is for the benefit of the individual but more importantly for the profiting of the kingdom hallelujah now everybody needs money we live in a world that is driven by economy and the Bible says he sent a word to Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Koinonia is blessed to have very wealthy and successful people, humble people in fact. But let me tell you the truth. There is a grace that can come upon a man and truly cause that man to begin to prosper. There is a grace that can come upon a ministry. There is a grace that can come upon a company and a business and begin to shift you and gravitate you towards unusual levels of value through wisdom unusual levels of favor access to the gifts of men witty ideas supernatural innovations and as i as i just stayed here waiting for them to drop the request the lord just put it in my spirit that i should minister that grace it may not be for everybody and this is not just about shouting and jumping this this is there is a real grace the power to prosper according to deuteronomy 8 18 
he says but thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to prosper the lord gives men power to prosper he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place in Genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3 it says I will bless you and I will make your name great I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curseth you and it says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed second Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 says ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 it says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency that you will abound in every good work i want to pray over you there is such a grace as the power to prosper it is the cure for foundational poverty it is the cure for this living from hand to mouth an individual can be blessed of god with proof now, finances is not the only dimension of the blessing of God. In fact, it is the least of the dimensions. When God releases the power to prosper, it is not money he gives. No, money is a product. It is bought with another kind of capital called true riches. This is what comes upon you. And I want to pray. We only pray as people who have been shown mercy by the God of heaven. But I want you to believe me, there is a definite impartation that can translate to economic well-being in the life of an individual and even of an organization. Do not despise this impartation. For many of you, it will be your bailout system from debt, from borrowing, from begging, living from hand to mouth, compromises all because of money. In the name of Jesus I stand upon this grace and I pray stretching my hand over someone the grace that causes ordinary men to prosper in such an extraordinary way the grace that was upon Isaac that made him to sow in that land and to receive that same year an hundredfold and the Bible says the man began to prosper he went forward he advanced until he became very great and even until the Philistines envied him I stretch my hands at the count of three let that grace come on someone and rewrite your financial story one two three take that grace now take that grace now the power to prosper I release that grace receive it in the name of Jesus koinonia receive it into your spirit receive it into your spirit the power to prosper rise above every economic climate in the name of Jesus that by this anointing in famine you shall laugh when men say there is a casting down economically you will say there is a lifting up by this anointing I forbid you from begging in the name of Jesus Christ stretch forth your hands towards this prayer request and I want you to begin to declare by the Spirit all over the globe let's begin to pray go ahead begin to pray declare by the Spirit we're praying over this request even by the Spirit is someone praying go ahead declare these Egyptians that I see today I see no more forever we're praying the Bible says to be anxious for nothing but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it said let your request be made known unto God Philippians 4 and verse 6 someone is praying it says ye have not because you ask not someone is declaring by the spirit arise O God release miracles over these requests let God's people return with testimonies all the requests that have been collated from all across the globe in the name of Jesus we declare the requests online the requests here on ground 
and in every other viewing center every expression anywhere and everywhere in the name of Jesus we declare by the Spirit supernatural answer to prayers supernatural answer to prayers supernatural answer to prayers supernatural answer to prayers one more minute you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus every request here is turned to a testimony I say it again that in the name of Jesus every request here is turned to a testimony not only a testimony is turned to a speedy testimony every situation that needs to change here we declare changed every situation here that calls for favor we command favor every situation here that will require the gift of men we command the gift of men every situation here that requires warfare we declare that the enemy is defeated every situation here that calls for judgment we announce judgment right now and i prophesy to you that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever in jesus name we pray amen and amen now it's time to declare over your life and then i'll make the altar call just give me the next five minutes and we're done I want to declare over your life Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 it's time to receive now the Bible says in Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give us media Ezra 6 14 the Bible says that they prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built and they finished it the Bible says and then Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 the Bible says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved second Chronicles 20 and verse 20 believe in the Lord thy God so shall you be established it says believe in his prophets so shall ye prosper hallelujah I want to declare over your life in numbers i believe chapter 23 when you read 19 to 20 when balak came to call um balaam to go and curse the people of god he said i have received commandment to bless and i have blessed and it cannot be reversed i want to declare over your life there is a sworn blessing that comes from the lord an irreversible blessing in the name of jesus i declare rise to a new dimension rise to a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life i decree it in the name of jesus number two i declare for your shame receive double i say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare the Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind every manifestation of fear in your life I cause it right now I cause fear the fear of death the fear of the past the fear of the present the fear of the future the fear of men in the name of Jesus Christ Number three, I decree and declare, for as long as I am alive, I will keep praying this upon your life. The grace for favor. May that grace rest on you. Receive the grace for favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who is holding something that should be given to you by God, I declare may God put it in their heart to release it to you may my God put it in their heart to release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice saying this is the way 
walk in it when you turn to the left or to the right every confusion in your life you have been praying for direction this week find supernatural direction find supernatural direction find supernatural direction in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for every career person here in the name that is above all names the bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more onto the perfect day i decree and declare receive the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence after the order of daniel go and excel every failing dying or dead business here hear the word of the lord i command that you jack back to life Hear me, if there is any plot of death already trailing your life or that of your children or that of your family members, in the name of Jesus, I separate you from that spirit. For the Bible declares that the Lord himself will keep you from every evil attack and that he will lead you safely to his heavenly kingdom. Therefore, I declare, you will never find yourself in an area that will leave you dead. You will never enter a car that will lead you dead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When Jesus was born, the spirit of the Antichrist walked through Pharaoh and through Herod and he asked where the child was the Bible says he intended to kill him but then he had a vision and the angels told him depart from here and he departed and went down and stayed for two years until Pharaoh died and then he had another vision and he said they that seek the life of the child are dead I decree and declare every strategy God has designed for your safety may it be revealed to you may it be revealed to you in the name of Jesus now I understand I have declared over your finances but I know that the happenings around our nation especially for now is put people in a lot of financial pressure there are two people in the Bible who never go through famine the king and the prophet these two every time there is famine there is always a system of exemption the king and the prophet when there was famine in Samaria the king already had his abundance and then Elisha together with his band of prophets and he said I am the children that the Lord has given me he says we are for signs and for wonders in Israel therefore I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies may God use men as the raven that came to Elijah at Brook Cherith God will send men to feed you God will send men to see that you do not beg in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over anyone who is in debt suffering financially personally or corporately in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation now and finally let me declare the grace that makes for honor upon you to be honored means to be perceived as touching your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but it was not always so he called him Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow are we together but Jabez got to a point where he was angry and took destiny by himself and said oh that thou wouldest bless me that and enlarge my coast and that it shall be well with me and the Lord heard him I decree and declare upon your life may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you that come much miracle service you will be many times better version of yourself in Jesus name I pray keep standing everyone our time is fast spent but let me make the altar call right now I want to make the altar call 
please let's minimize movement we're closing on time today so please be patient as i make the altar call there are people here jesus is calling you he's calling you to come home you're like the prodigal son that has deserted him and the bible talks about the gentleman even though he was designed for royalty he was now feeding with the swine there's someone listening to me whether you're here on ground on site or you are following online and jesus is speaking to you that now is the time to make it right with him or there might be someone here who has backslidden your life has gone haywire and you're saying apostle i need restoration i'm going to make these two calls in one wherever you are as i make this call and beckon on you i would request that you please quickly rush carry your bags your bibles everything you came to church with and then you come and stand in front of me here it is my joy and delight to lead you to jesus the one who is the reason for all that we do i begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come come to jesus come to jesus you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts. Come, come to Jesus. It is never too late. Are you coming? Three, come to Jesus. You can start afresh with Jesus again. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. You can know that you are saved. Like you know that you woke up this morning. Like you know that you are in this place. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. And those who are connecting by way of the internet, you're making this decision for Jesus. It is never too late. Never too late for Jesus. Hallelujah. So as I lead them to pray, please I request that you join me from across the globe and you can send in, let our media team know that you just made a decision for Jesus. Thank you very much, those of you who have come. If you're joining them, please join. I'm about to start the prayer. Those of you who came out from all the overflows, just look to your screen and then let's pray together. Lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender and please say this after me as loud as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight... I have heard your word. I believe in you. If you're joining them, join quickly so that we'll pray. If you come after the prayer, you were not saved. Is the prayer, the faith declaration through the prayer that, that causes you to be saved. Hallelujah. Say, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious people. You have brought them by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I call them bona fide recipients of your life. And I decree and declare that the ministry of the Holy Spirit will be richly experienced in your life. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. And that you walk in newness of life from tonight. The grace to live a victorious Christian life, I impart upon you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, I want you to please move to my right, which will be your left. The counselors are there to receive you and just have a word with you very quickly. God bless you. Koinonia, let's give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me encourage you to still remain prayerful even as we trust God for the outcome of the election. 
do well to be wise in passing comments online be very wise and be very intelligent we're responsible people as a ministry and as a global family and make sure that you understand perspectives very properly before making blind comments online in the name of jesus we'll continue to pray the best for our nation and we know that the lord will do us good in jesus name hallelujah when coming next week do well to invite everyone we're starting a new series it's going to be a powerful time of the word and the lord is teaching he's building he's empowering us in this year of open doors in the name of jesus now for the final blessing and then we close may the hand of the lord rest upon you you go from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ i declare that this week beginning is a week of testimonies for you you return back on sunday a sign and a wonder nothing dies in your hands in jesus mighty name we pray after the grace do well to greet or hug one or two people just wish them well on your way out let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever god bless you and see you hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body